Russian diplomat says NATO instructors must leave Ukraine before talks can start. Here's a summary of the article. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. Your device can receive and send information that allows you to see and interact with ads and content. Personalized ads and content, ad and content measurement, audience insights and product development. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized content that is relevant to you. Personalized content can be shown to you based on a profile about you. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. This post received a score of 9,200, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Well, talks weren't gonna start anyway. Russia is still occupying and trying to take more of Ukraine. Until they are out of the territory, no negotiations will take place. I bet their peace deal is. Complete ceasefire. But we kept all the land we currently occupy. And we take the rest later. And that's the problem. Putin's Russia simply can't be trusted. If they could be, they wouldn't have invaded Ukraine in the first place, to which they signed in Budapest in 1994, when Ukraine, and Belarus and Kazakhstan, turned all of their Soviet-era nuclear weapons in exchange for, security guarantees, from Russia, the UK, and the US. There is no promise Putin can make Zelensky could reasonably believe he'd keep. Finland actually understood this years and years ago. Which is why basically their whole economy and society is based around training their people to be ready for defense in the event of an attack. I suspect Ukraine is going to end up with a similar culture. Two of the most warlike societies on the planet. Forced to be so by the invaders to their east. Greater than greater than Finland training their people. Warlike society. Ditto for Israel, a small population adjacent to many other countries that hate their guts, and wanted to, drive them into the sea. Taiwan will soon be that way also, a smaller country than adjacent China, which is continually threatening invasion. Undoubtedly other such pairs of countries around the world. Russia desperately trying to spin their invasion as a conflict with NATO. We've lost 100k men in a conflict with the West. How about NATO forces? They haven't arrived yet. One of the worst ever military stuff UPS was by the Austrians at the Battle of Karantsebees during their war with the Ottoman Empire. During the chaos, the Austrian prince fell off his horay and needed to be rescued. The Wikipedia article on the battle used to list the Austrian losses and lists the Turks as yet to arrive. Your message concerning Russia's war with NATO reminded me of this battle, Russia, 100k losses, NATO, yet to arrive. Reminds me of the Spanish at the Battle of Talavera. They shot at some French dragoons who were out of range, were terrified by the sound of their own volley and fled, pausing only to loot the British baggage train. You got to loot the British. It was probably all looted in the first place. Actually the peasants were surprised when the British army paid them cash for supplies. They'd been used to the French army just taking what they wanted. Also, New England did well out of the British forces in the Peninsula War selling them grain and flour. Until 1812, that is. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.